After more than two months in captivity, these three soldiers can finally return home. The 46 other members of their delegation remain in Mali. Negotiations, led by Togo, are still underway, but this first step left Ivorian authorities hopeful. It is the diplomatic initiative that allows us to get these three brave soldiers back. We are waiting for the other 46. Bamako now publicly demands compensation for the release of the remaining 46 soldiers. Mali wants the extradition of political figures living in Ivory Coast, notably Karim Keita, son of the former president Ibrahim Boubacar Keita, former Prime Minister Boubou Sissé and former Minister Thieman Hubert Koulibaly. All of them are under an international warrant of arrest. Their terms are unlikely to sit well with Ivorian authorities. It's quite difficult to believe that Côte d'Ivoire is going to deliver Malian political refugees because Côte d'Ivoire defines itself as the country of hospitality and there is no tradition of delivering this kind of policy to states without the guarantee they'll get a fair trial. Ivorian authorities now say that Mali is taking the 46 soldiers hostage. Awaiting their release, many call for friendship and collaboration. Some famous Zouglou singers decided to express their support through song.